on Route 66. Heads to Utah. So Blake's heading up to Utah. We're sad to see him go, but excited for the experiences he's, he's gonna have. But we decided real quick, he was getting ready to pack and he was in his shorts. And I said, hey, I need you to help me move some horses before you go. So he, he caught Chipper up here, riding her bareback. And we're gonna bring Dusty home because he, the stud won't get along well with him, 66 won't. And so here's the three mares that we've bred the 66. Two of them with their babies. We're gonna bring 66 down here with them. Well, Chip, Chipper's bred to 66 as well. That's true, Chipper is in full to 66. He's gonna yeah, have a baby. She'll have it in like probably a month. No, uh, let's see. August, September. I think uh, two months. Yeah, she's fat. So Blake's helping us get some things situated. <laughs> yeah, she's a wild one. And I just thought it, the pasture's looking pretty and we're wrote, we're moving some horses before Blake heads to the valley to get on an airplane, to go to Utah, to train horses for a week. Yep. I'm nervous but excited. So And we're I'm nervous how I'm gonna get things done without him, but and we're uh, a little nervous to let him go, but we're praying hard and feel good about it. Things are gonna go well. So all right, let's load her up. So we'll load Chipper first and put Dusty on next. Take these two home and bring 66 back to be with, with his girlfriends. When you have a stallion, you've got to kind of rotate things in a good order or else you'll get a horse hurt. If we brought 66 while well, there's a gilding in with the mares, he might uh, chase this young gilding through a, through a fence. The, not that he's a mean stallion, but he is a dumb. He he has his little herd. Dusty, let's go. He's got his herd, and he likes to take care of them the way he he chooses to. Come on, let's go, Dusty. Dusty, a little bit more. Come on. He won't get that back foot in there. Oh, there we go. All right. He's up on there. So these two will go home and we'll bring 66 back. Blake's actually gonna feed or water the horses while I go, I'll go grab 66 and I'll be back. Okay. We gotta head to the airport here in about an hour and a half. All right. Not sure how we will post this video without Blake seeing or the order of how we'll do things, but has I think many of you know, if not, I guess this is the time to tell you if I can't remember which videos we've said things on or not, but one of our YouTube friends, actually she's a cousin of mine, but she watches the videos all the time and she's been so impressed with Blake's abilities with horses that she talked to her, her friend and that has, I think 18 horses and mules and not enough time to get them all trained and ridden. And she said, you should get Blake to go help you get these started. And they live up in Northern Utah. And she's like, or he said, man, that'd be awesome. You know, I'd pay for a flight for him up to Utah and pay him to help me to get these colts started. So Blake is going on a trip up to Utah. He is a little nervous, but excited and and well, I shouldn't say he, he, I think mom and dad are more nervous than he is. Um, I'm gonna but miss him around here as I will show you, or I, I'm trying to juggle some horses, get them in pastures so that they can eat without me having to feed hay and getting, getting them off of pastures that are getting irrigated. It's, it's constantly a juggle, but normally I have Blake around to help, so I'm trying to get Blake to help me before he leaves. But what he does not, what Blake does not know is that I'm gonna try to surprise him 
was something. Yes, I juggled the horses for the reason of irrigation and more pasture and, and uh, this and that, but I also want to try to start Dusty myself. Well, Blake's gone. I think it'd be cool for Blake to get home and see that the dad still knows how to ride a horse, a colt. Dusty's pretty gentle, so I don't think I'm gonna run into too big of problems, but I still think Blake will think it's cool that I started Dusty while he is gone. So if when he comes home here in a, here in a couple weeks, he sees that I've started Dusty and ridden him, I think that'll be a cool thing. So. So that's why I'm getting Dusty home, besides all the other reasons I told Blake. So this will be a good challenge for me. Last night before, you know, we're trying to get everything done and ready and Blake had won that little shooting competition so he got to cut my hair, so, so there you go. Uh, I'm bald today. We're moving horses. We're getting ready to take Blake to the airport and uh, Anyway, I, I sure will miss him. I just love hanging out with him and working with him and, and I'll definitely miss, miss all his help because he's, he's a ton of help. So. Anyway, I'm gonna yeah. unload Chipper and Dusty and load 66 up and take him back down to the pasture and hopefully Blake will be done watering the horses and we can get ready to head to the, the valley. When I say the valley, for those of us living in Northern Arizona, the valley means the Phoenix area normally. So, all right, let me uh, unload these two and get 66 caught up and we'll go back down and meet Blake. So I unloaded Chipper and Dusty and now I will go catch 66. All right. This is one reason, probably the biggest reason, most people don't keep stallions. There is a lot of testosterone there. And even if they're a gentle stallion like ours, the natural tendency is to, to kind of gain control over a herd and to establish dominance. 66, when he's with some mares, he, he's got to let them know that he's the boss and and he tries to kind of maintain that herd and and have control over them. And so we end up juggling horses a lot. And like I say, that's why people don't have stallions is it, it takes a lot of work. You get 1,200 pounds of testosterone. <laughs> yeah, 1,200 pounds of testosterone that wants to get to a mare and you're between him and the mare, that can, that can hurt people. And uh, so we're just careful. And uh, I love raising the quarter horses, but it takes a lot of time and you've just gotta be wise. So I'm gonna catch 66 now. We'll run him down to the pasture and then we can put Chipper and Dusty out in this pasture where 66 is now. Behind our house. So we love having horses here just so we can watch them all the time. All right, 66. It's all right, buddy. Oh, come here. Good boy. Come here. Come here, boy. All right, let's put a halter on you. It'll be hard to uh, video while I put a halter on. So I just put a halter or a rope around his neck. Those of you that have had stallions, even though I'm talking about how dangerous it can be or scary, you can see that he's he's pretty amazing. The fact that I just pulled up with a trailer with two horses to be able to just put a rope around his neck is pretty phenomenal. Anyway, so. I'm gonna turn off the camera so I can actually put the halter on correctly and get him loaded up real quick. So this, this is, what, this is what, what you don't wanna get in between is a 1200 pound stallion with some testosterone and coming to check out the new girl in town but she's actually already in fall so she's not interested 
but she still comes up to the fence and talks to him and she's a dominant mare so she, she actually would probably beat the snot out of him but all right let's go 66 let's get to the out of the pasture with your other girls okay load up oh come on i everyone was gonna be so impressed that you're just gonna load up like that let's go Look. come on oh come on let's do this come on get up there come on get up there get all over. there you go good boy pretty get nice just load him up and away we go as i head back to the pasture with 66 i'm just thinking I'd love to post this video while Blake's gone, just so then we can you can watch my progress with Dusty, and hopefully we'll be getting videos from Blake to post some videos while he's gone. But I hope Blake doesn't watch this video because I, I don't want to ruin the surprise. But the funny thing is, I really don't think he will watch the video because he doesn't watch our YouTube channel. He lives our YouTube channel. It's kind of funny. I, Blake barely got a phone to go on this trip because I don't know we I just that's a whole nother parenting discussion we could have but he doesn't get on and watch YouTube videos at all he's always so busy working and helping me out so I think I'm gonna be able to post this and I don't think he'll see it until after the fact so I'll talk to Vicki how we're gonna do this but if you wonder if this is really a surprise for Blake or if we're just acting like it is, Blake has no idea that I want to try to start Dusty while he's gone. And if we post it, Blake probably still does not know. I really do not think he will watch the video, but anyway. Come on, 66, let's go. He's gonna be so excited when he knows that he's here with all these girls. Blake, did you get the water filled? Yeah, this is a little bit left over. They're awesome. He's actually calling to them. Just letting them, letting them know he's here. Coco's all excited. She's coming to see who it is. <laughs> Now Coco was bred a week ago, or maybe two weeks ago, so she definitely wouldn't be in heat even if she didn't conceive. But they're gonna figure out their little herd, their little band here. He's got three mares and two foals. Those two foals are his. Look at this pretty little band of horses. And both of these babies are roans. You just can't tell a whole lot yet. If you look real close, there's little white hair coming in. I'm surprised 66 is just stopping to eat. I think he knows, okay, well, these are my girls and, and this is my new home for a little while. So. Well, I guess he is smelling them. Those of you that have been around horses, a lot. You saw how he stuck his upper lip up in the air. That's how a horse kind of smells. If they smell something, especially a stallion, that they'll put their upper lip up in the air. And what a beautiful band of horses. I know I'm a little partial here, but I'm gonna have to sell these babies just because I've got too many horses. But man, I hate to do that because. They look so good.
kind of an interesting thing. When a mare comes into heat, especially on her full heat, which is the heat that it's right after they've had a baby, the foal gets diarrhea. And I don't know if it's just all the hormones or what, but anyway, you can see that Lex's baby has, has the runs, maybe as I videoed behind her. But those of you that ever raise horses, don't be worried if your foal gets the runs. Well, mom's in heat, that's just something that happens. Farm on Route 66, heads to Utah. We're at the airport dropping off Blake. He's gonna grab his stuff. I'm gonna act tough like I'm not gonna be sad to say goodbye. Is that everything? That's everything. Where's your mask? He's sporting the new uh, Route 6 oh. Farm on Route 66 hat. Yeah. Stop for a second there, buddy. Look at that. Right there. Mickey designed it. We're kind of excited. All right. Love you, bud. Love you. Can't wait to hear how it goes. 113 degrees in Phoenix, so Utah's gonna feel good. All right, go get him, buddy. Oh, look at that cool mask. Some baseballs on his face. Yeah. If, if we could have had those when I was in high school, I probably could have got a date. Love you, bud. I'm inside the airport, just headed to my gate. I'm actually getting to watch some airplanes take off. Um, it's very not busy. There's hardly anyone in here. But my flight takes off in about an hour and a half. So, man, it's hard to breathe through these masks. I'm just riding one of the... I don't know what they're called, but it's fun just to relax and let it pull you around. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay, here we go. I'm excited, I'll be at my destination in just over an hour. It's day one. Um, this is my bedroom window right here. It is a very pretty view out here, straight out to the mountain. Um, down there in the trailer, that's a round pin I'll be setting up. We'll set that up so I have another round pin 
um, to work with the horses and mules in. I'm excited. He's going to show me around and um, let me know what animals he wants me to work with. So here we go.